Airbus has just detonated a bombshell in the aviation industry. The new A350 will be launched with the groundbreaking Trent XWB84 engine. This new upgrade engine isn't just the world's most efficient large aircraft engine in operation, it is perfect partners who are set to spearhead a revolution towards a cleaner, more sustainable, and immensely profitable future. Why is this new engine upgrade sending shockwaves through the aviation world? How will this engine be upgraded? Let's find out. Before we delve into the main parts of the episode, let's explore the purposes behind Rolls-Royce's engine upgrade. With the new XWB84 engine upgrade program, Rolls-Royce has confirmed that most of the testing has been completed and over 100 test flights have been successfully conducted. For the first major purpose, Rolls-Royce CEO Tufan Ergenbiljic stated that the company plans to invest over 1 billion pounds, approximately $1.25 billion, into the product lines supplying exclusive engines for the A330neo and A350. In the case of the Trent 1000, this investment aims to compete with GE Aerospace's GNX-1B engine on the 787. This massive plan will also include the upgrade of the XWB84 engine. Secondly, this investment is a crucial part of the engine manufacturer's new strategic vision, aiming to quadruple annual operating profits to $3.5 billion by 2027 and to increase the operating profit margin from around 5% to 14%, a level the manufacturer has never reached before. This investment also follows significant losses related to the decline in long-haul traffic during the COVID period and the costly development of fixes for durability issues that have affected the Trent 1000, particularly since 2016. For green purposes, the new engine will improve fuel consumption to make the aircraft more economical to operate, increase the engine's overall performance, including thrust and reliability, reduce emissions to comply with stricter environmental regulations and contribute to sustainability efforts. These goals align with the broader objectives of enhancing operational efficiency, reducing costs, and minimizing environmental impact. According to Rolls-Royce, the upgraded Trent XWB84 engine is expected to be certified by the end of this year before being put into service in 2025 to equip Airbus A350-900 aircraft. Rolls-Royce had planned to deliver the initial power plants to SIA by late 2019, but that date has quietly slipped. They will be primarily used on the A350-900 Ultra Long Range, ULR for short fleet, this airline added. This version is equipped with only 161 seats, compared to 359 seats on SIA's standard Airbus aircraft. The ULR can fly up to 9,700 nautical miles, about 18,000 kilometers, compared to 8,300 nautical miles for the standard variant. On such long routes, a 1% fuel saving can provide significant operational and cost benefits. However, this engine will be suitable for all A350-900, not just the ULR variant, and can be used in combination with the existing XWB84 to simplify in-service operations. If you've watched this far, thank you. The new XWB84 engine is truly an intriguing engine with a potential future. We'll turn to the next part to see what will be upgraded. However, your support helps this video reach more aviation enthusiasts. So if you can please like, share the video, and subscribe if you're new here. Simon Burr, Director of Engineering, Technology, and Safety, highlighted Rolls-Royce's focus on further enhancing the fuel performance of the 84 variant engine, which is already successful in its current form. The Enhanced Performance, EP for short, variant of the XWB84, was introduced at the Singapore Air Show in 2016, with Singapore Airlines placing the first order. This EP model incorporates technologies from the higher thrust XWB97 engine used on the A350-1000 and insights from the advanced test program. It aims to improve fuel consumption by up to 1% and reduce carbon dioxide emissions compared to the current XWB84 engines. Rolls-Royce is also planning additional improvements by introducing turbine discs made from a new proprietary super alloy branded RR1073, which was originally developed for the Ultrafan program. These discs are designed to withstand temperatures around 50 Kelvin hotter than the current RR1000 material, providing a more predictable lifespan. 
The EP model will also feature a new process for redistributing cooling air through the high pressure turbine blades, significantly reducing temperatures. Turbine discs made from this new material are already in production and will be introduced to both the XWB84 and 97 engines next year. Other upgrades compared to the standard 84 variant include improved turbine cooling and aerodynamics enhancements to the secondary air and sealing systems between stages and further optimization of the turbine blade clearance control system. Additionally, Rolls-Royce is working on improvements to the Trent XWB97 engine to address durability issues in hot and sandy environments. A new sand-resistant coating is being developed for delivery by the end of this year, and the high-pressure turbine blades will be upgraded with modified casting layers to reduce metal temperatures. If you're still unsure about what makes the upgrade special, let's analyze the specifications of the standard XWB84 engine. The standard variant with a thrust rating of 84,200 pounds is specifically designed for the Airbus A35900 to deliver optimal performance on long-haul flights. Currently, there are 295 Airbus aircraft equipped with this Rolls-Royce engine, which supports a maximum takeoff weight, MTAU for short, of 617,295 pounds. It incorporates advanced technologies to enhance thermodynamic performance and durability. Notably, it achieves about a 15% reduction in fuel consumption compared to older engines, thanks to its innovative design. The engine features a large fan and a sophisticated cooling system, allowing it to operate efficiently under demanding conditions. Additionally, the Trent XWB84 is engineered to reduce noise and emissions, meeting stringent environmental standards. Overall, this engine contributes significantly to the performance of the A35900, helping airlines cut costs and boost operational efficiency. Although the new engine offers significant economic and environmental benefits, its market entry has faced some challenges. Rolls-Royce initially planned to deliver the first Trent XWB84 EP engines to Singapore Airlines by the end of 2019, but this schedule has been delayed. SIA now expects to receive these new engines in the first quarter of 2025. Rolls-Royce has declined to comment on the reasons for the delay of the EP variant, but stated, the Trent XWB is the most efficient large aircraft engine available today and is recognized as the industry standard for reliability. We are proud to power Singapore Airlines and are working closely with them to support the operation of the A350. The delay could be attributed to durability issues encountered with the Trent 1000, which consumed significant technical resources to resolve and the subsequent impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, which severely affected long-haul travel. This challenge may become insignificant once the engine is launched with the new A350 version. It is worth looking forward to. In your opinion, are there any further obstacles or limitations for this engine? Additionally, the latest information indicates that the Airbus A32 XLR is ready to enter service as soon as the European Aviation Safety Agency issues its type certification. On July 19, 2024, in Cologne, Germany, Florian Giedermet, the executive director of EASA, presented the type certification documentation for the XLR aircraft to its chief engineer, Isabel Bloy. Although the new aircraft has received certification with the CFM Leap 1A engines, certification for the Pratt and Whitney engine version will be delayed. Christian Scherer, CEO of the commercial aircraft business of Airbus, said, Here comes the A321 XLR, a differentiated product that brings new value to the market, expanding the possibilities for our airline customers and passengers. With its long range, the A321 XLR enables a host of new direct routes, offering natural growth opportunities to our customers and the traveling public. It provides airlines with the efficiency of commonality inside the A320 or A321 product range, and its versatile cabin has a range of service possibilities that are just unique. It is quintessential Airbus. This aircraft has a range of up to 4,700 nautical miles, supplying flexibility in the flights. Therefore, it will allow operators to offer non-stop long-haul flights to destinations around the globe, where there isn't enough demand to justify a full, wide-body jet. In addition, it burns 30% less fuel per seat than previous generation competitor aircraft, and at roughly half the trip cost of modern wide bodies. To the recent, over 500 Airbus XLRs have been ordered, with customers including American Airlines, United Airlines, Qantas, 
Indigo, and Iceland Air. Currently, this airline is using two brand new A350-900 version aircraft for flights to Canada. They are called Leipzig and Krefeld, and will fly direct from Munich to Toronto and Vancouver. Naming its aircraft after German cities such as Leipzig and Krefeld not only means to honor and connect these cities with Lufthansa's global flight network, but also shows the company's pride and brand recognition. It has been two months since receiving them, and the airline has operated 160 flights and served about 38,000 passengers. Lufthansa CEO Jens Ritter shared that their passengers are very enthusiastic. Across all classes, they liked the innovative cabin interiors and new amenities. Lufthansa business class passengers are particularly delighted, with more than 90% satisfied with Allegris. They like the comfort of the seats with features like wireless charging, welcome drinks, and special menu cards for suites. The airline's crew really enjoyed working in the environment, appreciating the ease of seating management and the excellent galley. However, there are still imperfections. Flynet service still needs to be improved, according to Ritter. This is an internet service provided on the airline's aircraft to help passengers stay in touch with friends, family, and colleagues. Furthermore, with Flynet, you can send emails with attachments and surf the web quickly and securely. Lufthansa is working to expand this service on more flights within Europe, as well as to and from North Africa and the Middle East. It is known that during the first weeks, Flynet was not always stable on both of the airline's A350 aircraft in operation. However, Lufthansa has promised to fix it. They released a fix for Flynet as soon as possible, although they also anticipated that it would take some time for passengers to quickly get used to the new product like before. That's why the company also offers fly-alongs, who are product experts who can help if you have any questions. During the first weeks, these people were also on the ship, but after that, they were no longer needed because they could answer each other through communication equipment. They can essentially be thought of as a rapid response team that accompanies every crew to briefings and picks them up on their return in case things don't go as planned. Because there can be unpredictable things. But of course, no one wants this team. The company wants to eliminate them as quickly as possible. Previously, Lufthansa announced plans to invest more than 2.7 billion USD to upgrade the experience across all aircraft cabins. Two extra wide leather seats, when lowered, create a double bed for sleeping. There's a dining table, a 43 inch 4K screen, walls that go almost to the ceiling, controls for heating or cooling the seats, and lockers for coats and bags. The doors close like curtains and are made from noise reducing materials. On the A350, the middle section of the first class cabin will have this first class suite plus. In addition, first class suite seats also have the above features placed on both sides. That's not the only change on the new plane. In its biggest redesign to date, the airline is upgrading each service category under the Allegris name on its North Atlantic flights. The cabin will be available on the new Boeing 787 Dreamliners currently on order, expected to be delivered as early as 2025. The new premium cabin will be business class with a variety of configurations to meet passengers' individual needs, not just focusing on luxury features. Passengers have seven seating options. All have temperature controls and are appropriately designed to help passengers sit comfortably and still keep their backs straight for better sleep. First class seats also have this feature. Wireless charging, the ability to operate new extreme entertainment systems from personal devices and pre-ordered dining services are also highlighted in this new plan. Airlines often focus on upgrading the passenger experience in the front cabin of the plane. Lufthansa is different. This company also improves seats for premium economy class passengers along with the economy class. The special economy class seats will be covered with a hard shell, so when passengers lie down to sleep, it will not affect the seats directly behind. The distance between seats increases to 99 centimeters. Double armrests will help passengers no longer have to keep their hands on the seat. The screen with 4K resolution increases to 15.6 inches and will have wireless charging. The distance between economy class seats will also increase, especially in the first rows, which can be 86 centimeters apart and are designed for passengers to sit and sleep comfortably. Additionally, passengers can choose to ask staff to lock the middle seat. There is also the possibility of creating a sleeper by adding a mattress over the three seats. This bed may not be a first class suite plus, but it's a marked improvement for an overnight flight. 
Recently in June, Lufthansa launched a direct flight from Frankfurt to Minneapolis using the 787 Dreamliner-9 aircraft. The airline's plan is to operate five flights per week between these two cities. Sharing on the official X page, the airline wrote, Our first flight between Frankfurt and Minneapolis-St. Paul, flight number LH-482, took off from Frankfurt today. Starting today, flights between Frankfurt and Minneapolis will operate five times a week. Dirk Janssen, the airline's vice president of airfare sales for the Americas region, said the launch of the route serves as a key building block for Lufthansa's summer expansion plans in the United States. This is the most important market outside the group's domestic market, and he also expressed his joy at adding more opportunities and capacity into and out of the United States. In addition, this airline also operates a fleet of eight Airbus A380 aircraft to North America and India this summer. Last year, Lufthansa revealed plans to fly all Super Jumbo jets from Munich Airport. To date, only one flight a day is used, alternating between six of the eight aircraft carrying more than 500 passengers per day. In addition, the EU has conditionally approved a share purchase agreement between German airline Lufthansa and Italian airline ITA Airways. This was called the Great European Success. In 2023, Lufthansa, one of Europe's largest airlines, agreed to pay 325 million euros to buy a 41% stake in ITA, in which the Italian Ministry of Finance also contributed 250 million euros as part of the capital increase. The deal will strengthen the German airline's presence in Italy and provide more options for travel to Africa, South America, and the Middle East. However, this deal had to go through a difficult process to be approved by regulators. After the European Commission opened an extensive investigation in January 20, 24, over concerns, it could cause harm to competition. The EC has now given the green light after Lufthansa and the Italian government offered a package of commitments to allay those concerns. In a statement, Lufthansa CEO Karsten Spohr also said the investment in ITA Airways will strengthen Lufthansa's position in global competition. The airline will have many options to increase its stake in ITA Airways or completely buy back this airline in the future. The EC said proposed concessions to help reach an agreement include making it possible for one or two rival airlines to open direct flights between Rome and Milan with Central Europe. The EC said these commitments fully address the competition concerns mentioned by the Commission. Lufthansa's ambitious upgrades to its A350 cabins and expansion of routes are set to redefine the flying experience and solidify its market presence. The airline's investment in state-of-the-art amenities, such as the First Class Suite Plus and Enhanced Economy Class seats, underscores its commitment to passenger comfort and satisfaction. The recent introduction of direct flights from Frankfurt to Minneapolis and the deployment of Airbus A380 to North America and India exemplify Lufthansa's strategic growth. These advancements, alongside efforts to improve in-flight connectivity with Flynet, demonstrate Lufthansa's proactive approach to staying competitive and innovative in the dynamic aviation industry. As these changes unfold, passengers can look forward to an elevated travel experience across all classes.